In my previous video, I showed flexible solar panel installed on my Sienna minivan. It did not keep weight advantage of the flexible solar panel, and also it had to deal with partial shading issue caused by roof crossbars. In this video, I tried a different installation strategy with reduced weight and no partial shading issue. I believe this installation is quite generic and could be applied to higher wattage flexible panels. I take down the, uh, the solar panel again. I don't know how many times I've been uh, putting on and take it off. And uh, my wife doesn't mind because that keeps me busy. Um, that's a good thing. Okay. So I take out the crossbar and I take out the side support. I put on this little uh, clamp. Okay, I made out of this one by one aluminum angle. So this piece is from this one inch by one inch right angle. So I cut it off. So my plan is to um, put this thin aluminum channel underneath, three of them. Okay. So one, two, and three. So that's my plan to put these underneath the solar panel. This is the aluminum channel, 1 16th thickness. This is how I attach solar panel to the aluminum channel. I use a small section of 1 8 aluminum bar at this critical area. This is the end piece at the aluminum channel which can be used to attach to the roof rail. Dry fit on roof. Notice the last one hand on the roof rail. The purpose of doing so is to make the solar panel higher in the middle and the lower at both ends. Dry fit with the solar panel. Attach solar panel assembly to the roof rail using hose clamps. Six hose clamp attaching locations. I put the panel on the minivan last night and I drove on the highway to test if there is any potential issues, vibrations. The, uh, the results are quite encouraging. I, um, I think the wind noise is okay and there is no vibration. Though when I put on the roof, I noticed middle section of the uh, middle, uh, this, this piece and the front piece has a little bit sagging. So I made two middle support using foam. Hopefully that will address this sagging uh, issue. I finished uh, sticking the uh, foam strip at the front and at the back of the aluminum channel so to make it more aerodynamic. Okay, I finished racking up using the black vinyl tape all these uh, pieces. So I covered all the uh, aluminum uh, surface and also right now the uh, this extension support piece has the uh, foam strip to make it more aerodynamic and i also measured the weight of this finished piece right now it stands for 14.8 pounds so it's pretty good compared to 22 pounds before with crossbars and aluminum angles making wing deflector using foam block wind deflector in place. This is my new flexible solar panel installation. So that's it for the uh, solar panel, the flexible solar panel. Uh, I'm not going to do anything more on this one. I think it should work fine. Well, I just don't want to waste this perfectly fine 110 watt flexible solar panel and I tried everything uh, to make it work. Uh, it becomes actually my obsession. This version, I think I'm pretty happy with it. 
so uh, hopefully uh, it will last me for some time uh, if I'm going to change to a, uh, a, a different one I definitely want to try a higher wattage one uh, much higher than 110 watt maybe close to 200 watts uh, but for now uh, that's it thanks for watching Thank you.